Hello guys, welcome back to The Sportsman. I'm delighted to be back at Blackburn Rovers, joined by Dom Home. Dom, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Very good, very good indeed. It's been a hell of a year so far for you and the club. Did you think when you signed in the summer from Coventry it would go this well? Um, honestly, no, I don't think so. No, obviously, you have ambitions and expectations to a certain level, but um, you know, at the moment we're fourth in the league, we're in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup, so um, yeah, I couldn't really thought for a, a better start. And individually, you've you've even captained the team on a few occasions. That's a level of progression you might not have expected. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, it's a bit un unexpected for myself. You know, it's a um, it's a responsibility that I liked as well and I enjoyed. Um, but yeah, it's, um, so far so good, and uh, yeah, just really enjoying the football. Let me take you back to that that summer. There was a bit of interest, I think, earlier in the window, and then obviously the move happened quite late in the window. How was it from your point of view, and, and how did you cope with the, a move after being at a club for a fair few years? Yeah, yeah, it was a new one for me. Um, like, um, obviously, I can only control what I do on the pitch. You know, conversations with my agent were going on for a few weeks and stuff, and then it went quiet, and then all of a sudden it was back on again. So, um, obviously, while it was ongoing, you know, I obviously knew about the interest from Blackburn, and uh, I really wanted to give it a go. So. Happy it got done in the end, and uh, here I am. And, and what were your personal reasons for for moving on? Um, just to try something new, you know. I'm um, from the outside in Blackburn, a massive club with a huge history, um, some exciting players, and obviously the new manager with a new system. I just wanted to be something uh, part of something really exciting. So uh, yeah, loads of reasons to come up here, and uh, yeah, really loving it. And talking of of the manager, he's had a really impressive start to his his managerial life in England. You've also worked under Mark Robbins, two of the Championship's kind of finest managers, especially this season. What are the kind of differences between the two, and and how have you found working under them? Um, yeah, first of all, both great managers. Um, yeah, enjoyed working with Mark Robbins for four or five years. Um, you know, put a lot of faith in me as a young defender. You know, relatively inexperienced. And I think I was twenty twenty one. Um, and yeah, he, um, obviously it was still ups and downs, you know, as, as, as any footballer has. You know, it was, wasn't plain sailing. You know, I didn't go straight into the team. I wasn't playing consistently straight away. You know, so I had to bide my time, which um, you know I'm grateful to him for that. He's sticking by me, and um, yeah, I just um, yeah got a lot to thank him for. And um, but yeah, obviously with John Dal Thomason as well. You know, he's um, he's he's always chatting to his players. You know, he he makes everyone feel good about themselves. You know, he, he's um, he can spot if someone's you know not performing so well and um, looking at things they can improve on and things like that as well. So, yeah, it's similar in some ways, but completely different in others, you know, but um, enjoy work, working with both. And JDC, obviously a elite level striker in his time. Obviously you're a centre-back, so probably not giving you too many tips on on finishing. Do you feel you've improved as a player this season? Definitely, yeah. Uh, I feel like I've still got improvement left in me as well, you know, so um, I think it, it comes with working and playing with good players as well, you know, so this, the talent we've got in this dressing room is, is really good, so. Obviously, that, that, that brings itself along as well. But, yeah, so far, so good. I'm, I'm loving my football and um, I can still feel some improvement left in me. And I've seen constant support for you from your mum and dad uh, throughout their social media and, and sort of stuff like that. What's the role they've played in, in your development from, you know, a young child and, and now making it to near yeah. the top of the championship? Yeah, massive role. You know, it's, I can't thank my mum and dad enough. You know, it's the amount of miles they've put in and, um, you know, they've, they've been with me every step of the way. Um, so... Yeah, just absolutely unbelievable, you know, sort of backing from them, you know, never under any pressure to do anything with football, you know, it's, they would have loved me, whatever I've done, you know, so, um, yeah, I can't thank them enough and, uh, yeah, they're loving, loving the journey as much as I am. And there's a whole host of incredible strikers in the division this season. Who do you think's the best that you've come up against or who have you really found a good battle to have against? Um, Cov strike at the moment, Jokerez is doing really well, you know, I know him personally as well and it's good to see him absolutely flying. Um, and I think, you know, he's going to be sought after for clubs at high levels and abroad. So it's good to see him doing so well on a personal level as well, because I know him. So um, other than that, you know, Tuber Apcom at, at, at Middlesbrough is fine as well. You know, he's he's, he's scoring, feels like, every every game at the moment, or at least two a game. So, uh, yeah, some really top, top quality strikers. There always has been, there always will be. And, um, yeah, I, I love playing against him. You touched on Jokerez there. Um, how high do you think he can play and, and what's his ceiling? I don't think he's got a ceiling, to be honest. You know, I think he's... he's He's so good at what he does, you know, his attributes are so rare as well, you know, he's, he, um, especially when, obviously strikers have their qualities, but he's, he's you know, I don't think he's, there's nothing he's bad at, you know, he's, he's, he's good in the box, you know, he's, he's tall, he's big, he's strong, he's technically good as well. And, you know, I think he's, as long as he keeps grounded, which I know he will, I know him personally, so, um, yeah, I think he's got a massive career. Yeah. And back to Blackburn, what's the kind of mood in the dressing room and, and what are the things you can achieve this season? Yeah, mood's good. Um, so it's 
right saying that now, you know, we're doing well at the moment, but, you know, it's obviously been inconsistent, you know, for two thirds of the season so far. And, you know, the movement's good throughout that, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a crazy league, a crazy, crazy division, you know, it's, um, so it's just all about sticking together, you know, and, you know, we're reaping the rewards for that now, you know, we've got a really good squad between us and um, everyone backs each other up as well. And the FA Cup run, the reason we're here, it's been pretty special so far, a win over Leicester in the last round. <laughs> Are you dreaming of Wembley? You're one game away from there now, and you and you've already won there once as a player. Yeah, um, yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe dreaming. Yeah, it's, it's obviously a tough game to come up against Sheffield United. Obviously, uh, they've done really well. They've done well against beating Tottenham in the, in the previous round as well. So, um, yeah, not thinking about it, maybe subconsciously. Yeah, but you know, we've got a tough game coming up, and uh, all focuses on that. How much does it help that you've recently beaten them in the league and, and kept a clean sheet as well? Uh, yeah, it can help confidence and. Um, but it's, it's a completely another game, you know. It might might not be two exactly the same elevens, you know. It'll be there'll be changes and stuff, and different personnel, and obviously it's it's at their place as well, which will be a hostile atmosphere for us, and we just got to manage that and and see where it takes us. Yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a tough game, but we back ourselves. And then we've got an international break coming up as well. Um, what do you think you need to do, or or anything you need to add to your game to make it into the squad, Scotland squad? Um. Personally, I've just got to keep doing my best. That's, that's all I can ever do. Um, you know, no, none of these decisions come under me or anyone at Blackburn or anything. So all I can do is focus on what I do on the pitch and I'll try and keep some consistency. Because especially as a centre half, you know, consistency is one of the big, big things you look at. Um, so yeah, all I can do is perform on the pitch and, and see where it takes me. And have you spoken to Steve Clark at all? Did you work with him under Reading for a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I must have been. 16, 17, 18. Um, I don't know if he remembers, but yeah, I remember him. So, um, yeah, it feels like a lifetime ago now. But no, I haven't spoken to him for a few years. OK. Um, wishing you the best of luck to get in the Scotland squad. I think, I think you thoroughly deserve it for your performances this season. And last question from me. If you could pick three things you want to achieve in your career before you hang up your boots, what three things would you pick? Cool. Uh, didn't let me know about that one before. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Scotland squad might be an easy one to yeah, kick no, off yeah, with. Yeah, that is a good one. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, yeah definitely. Scotland international call up would be good. Um, to play, play in the Premier League as well would be an unbelievable achievement. Um, that's two. Oh, what about one more? Um, maybe I'll put you on the spot. Yeah, <laughs> we can leave it to if you want. They're two pretty good ones. debut. Yes. Yeah. Play in the Premier League. So we'll go with that. That's brilliant. Thanks a lot for joining us, Dom. Thank you very much.